Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today I'm doing a video I promised a while ago and I'm finally down to it on my list, is installing some basic Red M resources for your Red M server. This includes some weapons, vehicles, and a resource that fixes the interiors of buildings so you don't fall through the floor. Um, they're pretty simple. There's plenty of releases on the 5M, or it's technically 5M, but it's actually the Red M forums. It's part of the same 5M forum, um, so you can just go to the website and you'll scroll down and you'll see Red M resource development and modding. And then you just go over to releases and you can find all of the different releases around here. Some are paid, some are free. All the things we are going over here today will be free, so hopefully you can use them on your Red M server. I'm going to assume you have your Red M server set up. If you haven't set one up already, I will leave a link to this video down in the description and in the cards on the top right hand corner. Make sure to follow along with this before following this video. All right. So the first few things we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click the GitHub link on both on all uh, technically all of these resources because they all lead to GitHub. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click the green button and go ahead and press download on each of these um, just so we have them all as zip files. And we're just going to open these up as zip. So the um some these resources aren't perfect obviously i mean you're not going to have everything you have in red dead online and red and red m um it's just it's not going to be possible the same thing with 5m red m runs on the same system it has the same framework but obviously it's a different game you're going to have different problems you're going to run into things so if you run into problems with the resources installed ask the resource author on that thread for the resource and if you run into problems with Red M overall, ask the team over on the Red M forums. All right, so now we have our Red M server data folder. And inside the server data folder, we obviously have our default resources, which um, come with when you set up the 5M, uh, Red M server. I keep saying 5M, it's Red M. Um, so inside of each of these, you're gonna see that it has the FX manifest files. It has all of the client files it needs and all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna drag all three of these folders we just downloaded into our resources folder and then inside of our resources folder we're just going to rename these and we're just going to get rid of the dash master at the end of each one just to keep it a little bit easier for us to enter into our server.cfg file so we're going to go to our server.cfg file and we're going to edit it with notepad or notepad plus plus and we're just going to go ahead and do the same as we would on 5m and type ensure the name of the folder we want to start so I'm going to do ensure and then interiors is one of them. And then I'm going to do ensure and then it's red M R C P vehicles and ensure red M R C P weapons. Just like that. Make sure you can spell correctly. Go ahead and save. So now that we have edited our server.cfg, we can go ahead and start up the server. Give it a second to start up. Make sure you allow access if it wants it. And then you're just going to keep an eye on this console because the first time you run this, it may start resources. It may restart multiple things can happen, but just make sure to check this and make sure you see the started resource interiors, vehicles, and weapons. Those are the ones we installed. We are good to go there. So now we can actually hop in game and try it out. All right. So we are in game here. And if I go ahead and open up the chat and do RCP vehicles, I can't spell today at all. It will go ahead and open up our vehicle menu. And obviously I can spawn any of these I want. I want a coal wagon and then uh, create vehicle. And now I have a coal wagon. It's that easy. And now, I, you know, you can just have some fun with this, obviously. Um, and then it's the same thing with uh, RCP weapons. And if you enter, you can get any weapons you want. So if I want to get a rifle, um, I can get that or I could get a pistol and then you can actually have some fun with this. So if you want infinite ammo, you want to remove all your weapons, all that good stuff is here as well. If you want dynamite, you can get yourself some dynamite. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of cool stuff you can mess around with here and have some fun with. Um, I know uh, I had a lot of fun with uh, dynamite quite often. And then obviously you could add infinite um, ammo for all your stuff infinite ammo infinite ammo all that good stuff so now you just have an unlimited amount of dynamite or whatever else you want to use um sometimes there's a bug where if you have all those enabled it will like constantly try to pull it out if that happens all you have to do is just um toggle this infinite ammo off remove all the weapons and then add them back i did run into that problem a little bit when um playing earlier in another um server stuff so obviously have fun with it all the weapons do work 
Um, and you can have fun. Annoying NPCs, playing with your friends, all that good stuff is possible. Obviously, I have no ammo. Um, but you can have fun with this. Just don't cause too much chaos, but I know you all will be. And then, obviously, that interior plugins added interiors to all of these. And NPCs that can use them, which is quite cool. Um, so, have some fun with it. Enjoy it. And, um... Oh god, I'm going to die. And I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I hope you enjoy Red M a little bit more as well. So, enjoy the rest of your day. I think I'll get the hat.